Welcome to Hungary's Holiday Kitchen. I'm John Gregory Smith. I'm a cookbook writer and I've traveled the world working in kitchens everywhere. I'm going to be making a Vietnamese banh mi sandwich using all the beautiful leftover turkey you might have. And this is a wicked little recipe. First thing we need to do is crack on with a carrot. I've got about two carrots already grated. I'm going to do one more. And this will just add a lovely bit of color, some crunch to this sandwich, which is a classic Vietnamese street food dish. And everyone will be tucking into this for their lunch time. Perfect, done. I'm gonna pop it neatly into a bowl here and get that out of the way. Got another bowl here for wonderful cilantro. And this stuff tastes so delicious. It's really fragrant and fresh and it just adds a real kind of lively note to the sandwich. Just the leaves is what you want, rather than the woody stalk. So we're gonna move on to the spice element of this dish, which is my favorite part. And we're gonna use this delicious stuff, which is lemongrass, and it actually is a grass, grows like this all over Southeast Asia. So what you wanna to do to prepare this, really dead easy, just cut the ends off like this. And what you can see here is lovely little rings of purple, and that is the bit you want to be eating, the lovely purpley bits. So tops, you can lose them as well. And you can use these actually for like curries, soups, or like put them in tea and give it a stir, it's really nice. And chop the lemongrass into rings, and you can see these bits here have no purple. Once that stops, lose this bit as well, and you're just left with this fragrant ingredient here. I also want to add some rather delicious garlic, and I'm just gonna, yeah, smash it open and make a mess. So I want two fat cloves of garlic, just smash it open, take off the little bit at the end, pop out the clove. Nice and easy every time, what a winner. There we go, and the other one. So that's two cloves of garlic in there, and this will give a bit of heat as well to the dish, which is very lovely. And I'm just gonna blitz this into a, like a coarse chop, so here we go. We're done, perfect. And then let's get this lovely base for the sandwich out into a bowl. The smells from that are unreal. I have some very, very lovely turkey that my mate gave me. It's beautifully cooked, ready to rock, so I don't really have to do very much. Just gonna slice it up, and I've got the bits of the breast meat. Just slice it into lovely little pieces that you can kind of munch down perfectly in your sandwich. Pick off some of the like really kind of nuggety, juicy little bits here and I want about a couple of cups, so everyone gets a really good feed. There we go, done. Take this over and finish it off. And what I want to do is funk this up with a little bit of turmeric, which is made from root, a bit like ginger actually, and it gives an earthy flavour, beautiful colour, I and mean, you can see that kind of crazy yellow. This is a wicked ingredient called fish sauce. It adds a beautiful Southeast Asian flavour to everything. And last thing, a squeeze of yummy fresh lime. So just roll that on the board, like this. Get a knife, cut it in half, squeeze it in the bowl. And what you want is a sort of a sourness to freshen everything up, bring all those ingredients to life so they sort of really zing in that sandwich. Mix it around so the turkey gets coated. The fish sauce will add a salty element to the dish, but it's made from anchovies, so it's got quite a distinct pungent flavour. Beautiful. I'm just gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna use peanut oil in the pan, and this has a very mild flavor, so it won't interfere with these delicious spices that are in here. Pop in this wonderful turkey into the pan, just to, I can hear that sizzling straight away, and just put that in a layer in the pan, and kind of just leave that now. You don't need to do anything, just let it relax, let it cook through, go golden at the edges, a little bit crispy. That is exactly what you're looking for. So I'd promised bread, after all, this is a delicious sandwich, and I have a rather magnificent French loaf here. Just slice it up down the middle so that we can put all the turkey and carrots and cilantro in there. But I'm gonna warm it in the oven first. And that will go in. There we go. Just for about five or six minutes to warm through, gently, nice. So let's just give this a little stir around, and it's sizzling beautifully. 
The smell of those ingredients is so tasty. The lemongrass gives an, like an aromatic citrus flavor and it just brings something like turkey, which can be a little bland to life. It's delicious. I'm gonna get the bread out of the oven. There we go. Look at that, it's delicious. So just pull the bread apart a little bit more, pop in some mayonnaise and I've got a good dollop of everyone's favorite delicious mayonnaise. Let's get rid of that. In with the turkey. Be really generous with these ingredients. You never should be scrimping in a sandwich, that's the worst. Okay, so that's all that turkey's in there. So over to the carrots here. Let's just pop some on the top. And look at the color already of that. Isn't that beautiful? So it just adds that lovely flavor, crunch. We've got the cilantro here. Over the top, and it's just more of that color, flavor. Now, I've got amazing, beautiful, delicious sweet chili sauce, and I'm gonna drizzle this over the sandwich, and it's gonna add a bit of sweetness and so much delicious flavor. I mean, look at that, doesn't that look awesome? <laughs> Slice up this magnificent sandwich into four quite hearty portions. Oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? Mm -mm. I have a very fancy board to put it on here. And this is how you want to serve your sandwich. So it's all ready for people just to dive in. I'm going to try this. I think I probably should and just make sure it's up to scratch. So I'm going to take probably the biggest one. Trick to eat it, give it a push. That's the technical word. Go for it. Mmm. It's tasty, it's fresh, it's fragrant, it's delicious. It is an awesome way to use leftover turkey. I suggest you get involved pretty quickly. But all the recipes, check them out. They're right there, down below, nice and easy. Subscribe to Hungry and you'll get a whole bunch more. Happy holidays, everybody. I hope you have a great time.